Hello everybody and welcome back to Hazecraft and welcome to 113. Will you sit please? I kind of want to get these cats to just all sit. That would be very nice. Ah, uh, here is hint number two at what we're building just off the shore of our mushroom island colony. You can see I sort of did a first edition of this build wasn't a huge fan of it and so I've extended it out and yes this will be our mob farm is in this interesting angle um, I'm looking forward to hearing your guys's guesses down in the comments below about what this final shape is going to be what this final build is going to be besides just a mob farm of course can't seem to make the cat sit. Oh, there we go. You'll sit. You'll sit. Maybe I just got bump into him. Anyways, for this build, we are going to need a ton of snow. And I have two stacks. So, I think the best way to do this is to run in here. To grab ourselves a carved pumpkin, a couple snow blocks. We will need some hoppers, which are probably in my redstone box. Maybe not. I guess I uh, haven't taken down... No, you sit. I guess I haven't taken down the fish farm yet, which uh, we can do right now. Alright, so we have that cleaned up now. And... What we are going to do, trying to see if I have the materials here, and I actually don't think I do. Hey dude, you want to go up the stairs? Sorry, this is uh, VIP access only. I know, so rude, right? Um, nope, but we will steal one of these soul sands. And we will need a couple iron bars. Which means it's as good a time as ever to check on our iron farm. That's doing pretty well. Lots of poppies. I, I mean, I have been working in this area, so... These guys have been going strong. Or falling a lot. I notice them under the corner of my eye every now and then. But... We'll quickly swim over and ender pearl back up to our base. I'm so excited to get this creeper farm built so that I can rock it around everywhere. But let's see. That, yeah, beautiful. This is how we're going to make the snow golem. Just make him and push him into this corner and then. Push that in there, and he should be trapped, I hope. Get rid of all of this stuff. Back into our redstone shulker box it goes. Put that in there and that in there. And throw it back in there. So, you should be trapped in there. And now, if I remove those... Oh, except he has to be outside of a mushroom. Uh, well, tear it all down. Here is Mr. Snow Golem, and we have him on a soul sand block. That way he covers these blocks with snow and not these blocks. Lowers him down into this block space, trapped in the iron bars, and we can stand on this half slab. And let me make a couple of shovels here. And just gather up a bunch of iron shovels, like so. Stand here on this slab, sort of point like it will go through a line drawn through these three pieces of snow here, and just shovel. We just shovel till our shovels are broken, and then we can pick up these extra ones that aren't caught up by this minecart we probably should have pushed the minecart a little bit closer towards us but 
The minecart picks up most of them. And puts them in the chest right below us. Other things we've been doing is working on our layers here. And this top layer is actually good to go. We will need a ton of jungle trapdoors, or just trapdoors in general. I have a bunch of jungle wood. And so we put them, we can walk under it. Uh, so we put them at the top of the second block, that way only creepers and spiders can spawn. But uh, we'll use carpet to get rid of the spiders, or stop the spiders from spawning. So I think if we do that, yeah, so just hold, nope, shift and back our way up slowly. And yeah, uses a lot of wood, but I think it'll be worth it. You know what Mojang has, Mo Yang has done an accurate job of doing? Just how difficult it is to herd cats. Oh, you guys are both going to come. All right, you sit, you sit. All right, both sit. Good. Trying to get cats to do what you want. I mean, it's good if you're running long distances because they'll just teleport to you. But that's the same as any animal there. Once we see that little bump. That's them falling down onto the chest, which means they're no longer on these slabs. Like that. You can also check their uh, hitboxes. Maybe we can push you a little more. There. And you, why do you keep getting up? Are you going to come here? Yeah. Oh, keep coming. Actually... I need another cat way down at the end. Over oh, I need two more cats over here. You come all the way over here. Thank you. Got to make them sit before they find the chest. Or before they target in on the chest. Because once they see a chest, they just want to sit on it and become very unresponsive and won't even sit. Which, I mean, might be a bug, but who knows. Never can tell with cats. There's the bump. All right, we're slowly, slowly getting cats filled in here, which is awesome. Let's go see, do we have, oh, there's. All right, you come with me. Oh, two, nice, okay. Uh, don't know what that cat's doing. Okay, come and run, and yeah, make you sit, and then I just push him onto the chest. And the chest is really just there to mark out where the cats are supposed to be. And of course, we can add in more cats if we need. Yeah, come to me. I want you to come this way, and then we make you sit, and onto the chest. All right, so far so good. I mean, still still painful. I don't think I have to rename them because they're my pets. Let's see. And yeah, like sometimes they just turn into broken cats. Like I don't, I don't know what that guy's doing. But we'll just fly away and see if he follows. All right, so with this design, we are going to use the nether to get the mobs out of this spawning areas. I tried working with it to uh, get them to drop down or stuff, but I think for the, for the design I'm going for, sending them to the nether is the best uh, alternative, and then we can just deal with them in the nether once we get there but as you can see i built this platform one too high because using nether nether portals have to be three tall so get to remove a whole line of obsidian fun 
and uh, start all over again. I already have that platform on the right lowered down. Still got to lower this platform on the left, but it will get done. And this works insanely well as mob spawning because I've had to deal with a ton of mobs so far. I had a creeper blow up all of my snow and I got up here and as soon as I got up here the snow despawned. Um, because I was in the middle of me trying to deal with cats as well and they're distracting and yeah. So, gathered up a bunch more snow, took out our snow golem, so now all the platforms should be finished. Um, one thing I've sort of learned slash realized is don't bother with chests for the cats, and also sitting cats may teleport. Uh, I still gotta figure that, that one out, but I'll let you guys know in a little bit. Alright, a couple things to note. We definitely did not get ourselves enough snow, so we'll be setting up a snow golem or two. Might set up a uh, more efficient snow golem. But, the other thing is, if you haven't guessed it already, here's sort of, uh, sort of what's happening. We are making a huge blimp, and uh, that will be what our mob, our creeper only farm, is in. I don't really know why. I think because there's... I, like, I'm trying to remember what inspired me to make it a blimp. I think it's because it's floating, flying islands. I wanted to make something flying. And a blimp just seemed like the proper way to do it. I know, obviously, you can make... Let's take some of these cats with us. I've almost filled up all the cat spots but uh of course there's always more but anyways cats are mostly in carpets to prevent spider spawns are in i can hear a spider which he must be down below the bottom layer i thought i lit it up enough but i guess not there's another cat still have to get all the cats down onto this layer but uh that will happen after we put in... No, I don't know. I don't know where that spider is. Huh. Anyways, that'll happen after we finish off this. After we finish building sort of the outside to our blimp. And we gotta get up here and this is gonna be tricky. There we go. And there's some cats down there. They'll teleport out once I'm done. But anyways, started working on the hull of our blimp. And you can see sort of the shape coming together here. And you guys saw the map, sort of the aerial picture of it. See if we can get a view of the cross section. Maybe if we try flying. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna say, usually I'm better at jumping up there. There you can sort of see the top up here. Need to bring in some more trapdoors. I removed them because I had uh, slabs here to protect the cat so that they don't get bumped by creepers walking by. But I realized I really just need one over top of them. Uh, because that, the carpet they're sitting on, I mean, that guy's still sitting on a chest, but the carpet they're sitting on prevents a creeper from spawning there, but also this slab does, and this stops creepers from walking into them. And the neat thing is, if we're standing up, oh, there's the spider. If we're standing up, we can't get over these carpets, but if we shift, we make ourselves just, just small enough that we can walk back and forth across them. Let's just, yeah. You can go in there. We're looking good. Yeah, so I had uh, these sort of set up all around to protect, but that's just removing, hey, no, I wanted you back, okay. You, we're gonna put you over here. The cats do seem to keep teleporting, even though I've sat them down. 
and it might be whenever I get injured. So we'll have to see. Hopefully, once they're in here and this is all closed up, they'll just stay in here and we won't have to worry about it, but we might have to come check on it every now and then. Hi, that just pushed me off. You sit then. But, anyways, cats are in. I think I'm going to have to leave it here for this episode. We'll continue filling in all this snow. Like I said, I'll have to get a bunch more snow because just that little patch at the bottom down there. Oh, uh, you would get off of the chest. Oh, just that little patch at the bottom took like... 10, 15 stacks of snow blocks, so we will, uh, we will need some more. But uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'd appreciate it if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. But uh, I will see you guys next week.